So we, we have right. this position on the board, and I we think MVL has blown it. He's resigned. Did he resign? He resigned. Wow. Wow. He just looked at the end game and said, that's it. Incredible. Absolutely incredible finish. This ending is lost, but he didn't let us watch Magnus win it. He played some suboptimal moves, to say the least, and blew a simply drawn end game. Uh, that was that was atrocious. It's like Magnus is hypnotizing people. Incredible. No, I think that this is tiredness. I'm sorry, guys. This is just uh, flat out tiredness. That I, that I would uh, agree with too. I I really liked uh, your idea the best. Um, just uh, bringing the rook behind the pawn. Right. And, and <laughs> what is Magnus thinking about? I would probably just slap down the move King D7 to contain uh, the knight for the rest of the game. So Bishop no F3 was played. Bishop F3. Now King D3 with a not very subtle idea of A5. Correct. Maybe Which I'm not I even to, sure. Maybe Bishop I have D3. to preface it actually with Bishop to D3. Yeah, perhaps. To keep uh, the, the knight bishop, double yeah. protected. Yeah, it seems likely. And Magnus has played rook to a8, allowing knight to c7. Which was quickly played. And now... Uh, rook a7, I guess. Then knight b5 and a quick rook a8. Knight c7 again. Rook a7. And a draw has been agreed. Wow. wow. Why? Why? Incredible. And nevertheless, yeah, let's congratulate that. Magnus Carlsen on defending that position and getting a draw. He's now the winner of uh, the London Chess Classic and, and the winner the of the Grand Chess, chess Tour. Tour. Well, congratulations, world champion Magnus Carlsen.